Okay, first round, Jens. You ready? You ready? Let's go. I mean, it is a massive moment for all of these Italian fighters to be fighting on such a big show in Italy for the first time. The one for one so far, so Valandi's looking to. Oh, that was a big overhand. You can see both men know the other has power. Yeah, so very, very tentative yeah. start. They both don't want to get safe into a firefight because anything can happen then. Valandi looks like a big, he's a big guy, isn't he? I remember thinking that in his uh, match with Will. He's just got a big frame. Ooh, that was a big old Huge overhand, overhand right. right on the temple. That might have hurt him, you know. That may have hurt Valandi. Front foot here. Ooh. Ooh, big shots. I mean, a tentative start, but they, they seem to have warmed up pretty well yeah. now, and they're going for it. Belandi on a nice body uh, over under position, straight in the side control here. Lovely take down there. Yeah, some big breaths from underneath from Joanne. Toes out, toes out. Turns in here, and like I said, three guillotine finishes. I was thinking about it for a second there, but Oresti doing a great job of reversing Brilliant. this position and just a huge, powerful throw down to the ground, immediately stepping over into half guard. Dario was controlling that right arm uh, with his right arm, the left arm of his opponent. I was thinking maybe if he could get his leg out there, possibly straight into a triangle, but into a pretty secure uh, half guard position here, looking to tie that over under. Joe, I made that look so easy then, did, the way he they? powered up and then just double-legged him himself, that he made that look so easy. It's that, it's that Sambo, something else, right? And now on top, he's got What's a great good side. Time, time, time. Very, very careful of that downwards elbow. And immediately picked up on. Was that a third six or yeah. back of the head or both? No, I think it, yeah, I think it might be both, both yeah. yeah. You want to go back on the ground? You want to start? Up? Yep, it no, looked it like was the back of the head. Was it the spine? It did yeah. look like it. Yeah. Okay, stay there. Wait there. That was a. Uh, that Come was here. about every type of Careful. band strike okay. that you, you could do right again. into one. Okay, I'll be taking points. He's got to be understand? careful about that. No more. Any more okay. of them, he's getting a point yeah. for Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Good. Back to a neutral okay, position on the up. feet now. It's almost weird because you're thinking like you're never training that. Like, wh where's that instinct come from to throw those downwards elbows when it's one of the few things you can't do? That is one of the hard things to train, obviously, because yeah. we can't throw elbows in the gym at each other. We don't want to split each other open. Both men caught each other with yeah, big Yeah, it looked like, there. I couldn't yeah. tell with it, Oresti Both of them took look. something there. He looks a little bit wobbly. Yeah, he does. Oh. He needs to start checking them kicks, though. He's not going to be able to take them all night. Wants that over and we are there's the guillotine. There it is. He was thinking about it. It always it's it's all it's, it's, it's all about which arm you guillotine with, and it doesn't like he's oh he's not quite connected his hands. No. You know, a lot of the time like I, I guillotine with my right arm. If someone sticks their head on the left hand side, I'm not really gonna be attacking a guillotine from there. So it's really important to know where your opponent, if they are really good at guillotines, know which side they prefer to attack to. You big into guillotines, Paddy? I know yeah, tri I triangles no, are your uh, bread do. and butter, right? I've got into guillotines big lately, oh, to be great. honest. They're great. Action's right in front of us, yeah. Don't grab that cage, good. Don't grab it, don't grab it. And the, the fact that Belandi isn't going for a guillotine or even thinking about it, there doesn't look to be any twitch of that shoulder there. It doesn't look like his body wants to attack. I'm thinking that his strong side is going to be his right hand side. So. If uh, Oresti, you know, is, is continuing these wrestling exchanges and starts to move his head down to that right-hand side, keep an eye on that guillotine. 
Nice body lock now. position here, yeah. This is where, oh, I was just about to say, this way need to use this and get, get a nice yep. position with it, but Balandi just gets us under hook in, turns him round, and it's a completely different position now. Yeah, Balandi did a great job of dropping his entire body weight downwards to give and create a little bit of space, lower his centre of gravity to be able to get a hook on the inside there. Nicely done. Now with a body lock position of his own. This is where we saw him take down Oresti very early in the fight. I'd hate to be a judge for a round like that, yeah. though. I mean, I can't even think so much has happened here, and I, I can't what tell whether happened? that was a punch yeah. or whether that was a slip off the, the high kick there, but... I was about to say the same thing. I mean, all some amazing fights so far. Yeah. This is only the second fight, yeah, the yeah, second yeah. round. Right it's going to be a brilliant night to fight this. Oh, I think so. They're bringing it. You know, when you've got these Italian fighters and and, 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 and okay, another, you ready? You ready? other Let's fighters go. from over Europe and this big landmark card in uh, Italy and Rome, you bring the heat, and this is what the fighters are doing so far tonight. The land, they need to use that jab more, just keep the range, keep them away. Yeah, but Andy looks like he's got long arms and he's not really utilizing them too much. Oh, lovely. Beautifully Caught done. The Caught the kick. Caught the kick. Status, uh, control. And in strong position here, right in the middle of the cage as well, which is super significant. He puts himself on purpose by the looks of it into half guard, which can make sense, yeah. but you, <laughs> you don't want this to happen. Into the triangle. Oh, and I mean, if he it. changes the angle here and he gets that leg locked underneath the shin, this could be finished. This is a super strong triangle. I mean, That's I think that this is going to be done. Yeah. And there's the tap. Wow. Wow. What a sequence to that finish. Joanna Resti catches the kick straight into side control. He looked like he put himself into half guard. I can't quite tell. I have to see it again. But immediately when he gives that space into half guard, Belandi creates that space. He's got these long legs. And Aresti just didn't really react to the threat of the triangle until it was far too late. He he definitely wasn't trying to get to mount, but what he should have done there is tied up that position. And look how loose he's been yeah. here. And once that triangle's on, I mean, there was a significant amount of time before that triangle was properly now it's locked up. still not up. fully locked up. It's still not, it's fully, still locked not fully locked up. And he up. wasn't posturing up. No. He wasn't standing. He wasn't throwing the leg over. I mean, huge blunders on that uh, on that triangle defense there. But a beautiful triangle and a great win from the Italian Dario Bellandi. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Leon Roberts, calls a stop of this contest after just 53 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of triangle choke in the red corner, Dario!